I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. I'm going to compile a few lectures and upload them on the Global Math Institute website, free for all of you to watch. Here is a request from a subscriber, Emily Walker, who is preparing for Level A Mathematics exam. And uh, the topic to be covered here is to find equation of circle, especially when points on the diameter are given. So we'll begin by understanding basic equation of circle, which you understand is equation of circle with center at origin 0, 0. We also know equation of circle with center at any point h and k. And now the question here is equation of circle with diameter points p and q. So that is the circle. These are the two points on the diameter. If they are given to us, how do we find the equation of circle? We'll actually use two different methods. I'll derive uh, the equations. One method will be to find the center and then the equation of circle, right? So if I find the center, which is the midpoint, then I can use this equation, knowing any point of the center, to find the equation of the circle. And the second way is to figure out a general formula for direct equation. That's very interesting. And once we do that, we'll take up three examples. So we'll basically take some points P and Q, and then using these methods, which we have developed, we'll find the equation of the circle. You can actually verify each equation works with both the methods. That'd be very interesting. So let's begin with the very basic concept. As you know, circle is locus of all the points in a plane which are at a fixed distance, the radius, from a given point, the center. So here we have a circle. We have center, which is marked as C, and the circle will be known by the name C, the center. And the radius is distance from the center to a point on the periphery of the circle, and this distance is the radius R, right? We'll derive the equation of circle from this concept. So if I actually see, if I make a right triangle, as I have shown here, in that case, you will notice that this point, let's say we call this point as Q for the time being. In that case, using Pythagorean theorem, you can derive the formula, right? Okay. So what we know here is that the distance c to q square plus p to q square should be equal to r square, since that is the right triangle, correct? The distance c to q is x minus h. So we can write this as x minus h whole square plus p to q is difference of the y values, y and k. So y minus k whole square equals to the radius square. So that becomes your general equation. Perfect. Now as a special case, if we have center C at origin, in that case, the point will be 0, 0. That is to say that h will be equal to 0 and k will also be 0. Substituting these values, we get x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square equals to r square or the general form now reduces to x square plus y square equals to r square. Is that clear to you? So we basically have two different equations which are actually derived from one another. So this is the equation which you can use if the center is at the origin and the other equation is right there, which is for any point, any general point on the circle. Correct? So here we know the center is origin, which is 0, 0. So I hope that is clear. So with this background, let us see how to now derive an equation where 
we are given two points and they are on the diameter of the circle. So this is the case which is of prime importance in our video. So we'll now figure out how to find the equation of circle with diameters, points, P and Q. So we have taken, extended that radius to the diameter. So we have point P which is X1, Y1 and now the point Q, X2, Y2, the center being at C, H, K. Perfect. Now we need to find the equation of the circle. So in this case, method 1 is to find the center and then the circle equation which we just learned, right? Using any point for this circle, correct? Now, to find the center C, C is midpoint, right? C is midpoint of diameter PQ, correct? So the coordinates of C are the average of these coordinate values. So we can say that the point C is basically equal to the average of these two values, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So with that, we get the center points coordinates. Perfect. Now, think like this is your equivalent to what we learn as hk, correct? The center point. And we can use one of these points on the periphery to find the equation, correct? So we'll call this as the center point C, H, K. Now, to find the equation, we can write that the equation will be any point on the circle. In this case, it is X1, Y1 we can take. We can say X1 minus H whole square plus y1 minus k whole square is equal to r square. Now what is r? To find r, we can again use the Pythagorean theorem. Right? So, right there. Since we have found the center and the radius, we can use our formula which was x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square to find the equation of the circle. Is that clear to you, right? So we can use this equation 1 to find the points h and k. We can use this equation number 2 to find the radius, rather the square of the radius, and then the formula, which is the formula for circle given any center, and get the answer. Is that clear? So that is a method where these calculations are required to find the answer. Now we'll discuss a general method. With this general method, you can directly find the equation of circle substituting the points given to you. So we are saying equation of circle with diameter points P and Q, general formula for direct calculations. Now the concept is that if I take any point on the circle, let us say we take a point here, which is, let's say, point A. In that case, joining A with points P and Q will form a right triangle. Right? So this triangle, which is formed in a semicircle, will always be a right angle triangle. So that means that the slope of AQ, let me say, MAQ will be equal to negative reciprocal of the slope of AP, right? So, will be equal to minus 1 over slope M of AP. So, that is the concept which we can use to find equation of circle given the points on the diameter, right? So, let's figure out what is the slope a q. Slope from A to Q will be general formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? Sorry, x2 minus x1. So in this case, let's say this point A is xy. So this slope, which is equal to y2 minus y, we will write this as y2 
minus y or we can write y minus y2 let's write y minus y2 over x minus x2 the slope ap is going to be y minus y1 over x minus x1 correct since these two lines are perpendicular their slopes will be related right negative reciprocal or you can say product of these two is equal to minus one either way so now using our concept we can write that slope aq which is y minus y2 over x minus x2 should be equal to negative reciprocal means negative and then we flip it so we get x minus x1 over y minus y1 clear now we can cross multiply to get a general equation so we can now from here write down y minus y1 times y minus y2 is equal to negative of x minus x1 times x minus x2 so that gives you our general equation putting all the terms together on one side is x minus x1 times x minus x2 x1 and x2 are given to us right plus y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals to 0 so that is our general equation which we can always use to find equation of a circle given points on the diameter is that clear to you correct so that becomes the equation now let us take some examples to find the equation of circle using the concepts which we have learned in this video so far question number one here is find equation of a circle with points 0 0 and 0 8 on its diameter so the equation was x minus x1 times y minus sorry x minus x2 let's rewrite so the equation was x minus x1 times x minus x2 plus y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals to 0 so if you use this equation x1 x2 are 0 and 0 so we get x minus 0 times x minus 0 again plus y minus that is 0 and 8 right 0 and y minus 8 equals to 0 so we get here x square plus y times y minus 8 equals to 0 and that gives you the equation x square plus y square minus 8y equals to 0 right. so this is the equation which you get using the formula directly well let us also use the method learn so what we we are going to do here is we'll just sketch a circle right and we know these two points 0 and uh, 0 0 and 0 8 let's say these are the points so since we are given the x values i'll just put the points right there the points are these are the two points so this point here is 0 0 the other point is 0 8 so if you have to find the center it's the average value so the center here is 0 4 correct so from here we can use method earlier method which is to find center first so center here is 0 plus 0 divided by 2 and the y values will be 8 plus 0 divided by 2 which is 0 4 the radius square is let's write radius square so radius square is the distance between these two and in this case 8 minus 4 is 4 and we say it is 4 square so that is the radius square in the given scenario now since we know the center 
and the radius square, we can use our equation, which was x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. In this case, the point h and k are 0, 4. And we know r square is 4 square, which is 16. Substituting these values, what do we get? We get x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square equals to 4 square, which is 16. So we can open this and simplify. So that gives you x square plus open this part, which is y square minus 2 4 y, which is 8 y plus 14 square equals to, sorry, 4 square is equals to 16, right? Now simplifying, we get this as x square minus y square minus 8y equals to 16 minus 16, which is 0. So you get exactly the same equation. You see that? So here we used method 1 and 2, right? So this is one method, and that is the alternate method. So both gives you the same equation. So question number one, we have solved using both the methods, relatively a simple question. However, it helps us to understand that you could adopt any one of these methods to find your solution. Perfect. Now we're going to use these derived equation and find the equation of the circle using points on the diameter. So question number two here is, find equation of circle with points four, three and two, five on its diameter. So we remember now that the equation is x minus x1 times x minus x2 plus y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals to zero. So in this case, the points are given to us. The points are 4, 3. Let's call this point A and the other point B is given to us as 2, 5. So these are the points. So the equation of the circle will be x minus 4 times x minus 2 plus y minus 3 times y minus 5 equals to 0. Let's open the brackets. We get x squared minus 2x minus 4x and that gives you plus 8 plus y squared minus 5y minus 3y plus 15 equals to 0. Let's combine the terms. We get x squared plus y squared and these two x terms become minus 6x the y terms give us minus 8y plus 15 and 8, which is 23, equals to 0. Perfect. So that becomes the equation of our circle with the points on the diameter given to us. Right? Now, uh, here I will write students' exercise. So what you need to do is verify above result using alternate method. I hope that makes sense, right? That is to say, you find the center, you find the center, you find the radius, right? and then use general equation. Clear? Perfect. Now to wind up, let's take the last example, which is question number three for us. The question here is, find equation of circle with points minus two, minus five, and four minus one on its diameter. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then check with my solution.
So I hope you got the answer of this question and all the concepts are absolutely clear. So let this be a review question. Question number three. Find equation of circle with points minus 2 minus 5 and 4 minus 1 on its diameter. So let me just sketch uh, to make it absolutely clear. So that is the circle for us and we are talking about a diameter and uh, let us say we have some line going like this with these two points. So the point A, we'll call this point A as minus 2 minus 5 and point B as 4 minus 1. So we'll learn two methods. One method is to find the center and then the radius and then use general formula. So we'll call that as our method number one. Right? So we'll use method one. So in method one, we have learned we need to find the center first. Let's call the center as C. So we say center C is the midpoint, right? So, so the midpoint will be average values of the X, which is 4 plus minus 2 divided by 2 and minus 5 plus minus 1 divided by 2. So clearly these two values are minus 2 by 2 is minus, I uh, mean, 2 by 2 is 1, and this is minus 6 by 2 as minus 3. So these are the midpoints. Radius R is rather, let's find radius square, distance between these two, and we now know that the midpoint here is calculated as 1 minus 3. So the radius square will be x2 minus x1, so which is uh, from 4, let's see, c to b, let's find this distance as r. So 4 minus 1 whole square plus y values, which is minus 1 minus of minus 3 whole square, and that gives you 4 minus 1 is 3 plus that is uh, minus 1 and uh, plus 3 is minus 2, so 2 square. Right? So that square is 2 square. Uh, 3 square is 9, 9 plus 4, which is 13. So that is R square for us. Now we know the center and the radius, so we could find the equation which is x minus the x value. 1 whole square plus y minus the y value which is plus 3 in this case whole square equals to r square which is 13 right so if you expand this we get x square minus 2x plus 1 and here we get y square plus 6y plus 3 square which is 9 equals to 13 and this could be simplified and then we could write this as x square plus y square the x terms minus 2x the y term plus 6y the constant terms 9 plus 1 is 10 when you take away from 13 minus 3 equals to 0 so that becomes the equation of the circle when we use our first method of finding the center and the radius. Now, let us use the second method, which we are saying the direct method. Right. So we just derived the equation for the direct method, which was x minus x1 times x minus x2, very important equation, plus y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals to 0. So we're going to use this equation to write down the equation of the circle when the points on the diameter are given to us. So that gives you x minus, we'll write plus 2 times x minus 4 plus y minus becomes plus 5, y minus becomes plus 1 equals to 0. 
expanded distributive properties, right? So x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. Here we get y squared plus y plus 5y plus 5 equals to 0. Combine the like terms. Uh, we will first write x squared plus y squared. These two will give us minus 2x. That give you plus 6y. The constants minus 8 and plus 5 gives you minus 3 equals to 0. So you see in either case we get the same equation which is x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 6y minus 3 equals to 0. Is that clear to you? So you could use any one of these methods to find equation of circle when a point on the diameter is given to you. So I hope that makes sense. So with that, we close this video. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Watch my upcoming website, the Global Math Institute, and enjoy learning maths. I hope that makes sense. Thanks for your time and all the best.